Hey YouTubers, um, we're going to do a little quick mod here. I'm going to put a ram mount in my KRX. Um, I've already pre-drilled a couple of holes into the dash and uh, the dash is pretty easy to take off. The dash just consists of a couple of pop clips on the upper glove box uh, that you lift up and there's, there's a couple hidden in there. And we've got a couple inside the cubby hole here uh, up in the top corner. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you can see it there. A couple pop clips there, and then at the very bottom there, we've got uh, a couple of Phillips screws that goes into the center council right above the cup hole. After that, the whole center council just pops right out. So what I did was I put my ram mount pedestal right above my um, low gear switch. Um, that way, <clears throat> what it's going to do is it's going to give me room to still store things inside of here, and I think it's about the perfect placement. Now, the only thing about this is I feel that there's a little bit of movement because obviously I'm just coming into plastic here. So what I'm going to do is behind this bad boy, you'll see my screws that come through the backside here. Try to get this in a decent position so you can see it. Yeah, so they come out here, and what I'm going to do is just put a couple of pieces of uh, leftover metal stock I've had from stereo installs, what have you. Just a piece of metal like so, flat piece, and I'm going to stick it over my screw, and it's going to span across the plastic to, to make it more sturdy. So, it's not here just get my nut started and again the ram mount is uh, I, I've had it in my forerunner and Tacoma and the Tundra and it, uh, the ram mounts are pretty cool it'll hold your phone, it'll hold a tablet what I'm looking to do is get some Navi in this thing um, and KRX, KRX doesn't actually offer um, a navigation system um, so I'm just going to use my tablet so once I get these two pieces of metal screwed in there, it's going to give it a lot more support so that the ram mount uh, doesn't end up snapping my plastic uh, down the road. So just wanted to show you guys really quick just how I devise this little, again, cheap method. And you can get a, they have the stereo uh, brackets that they have behind the old school stereos that would span across the whole thing and that probably be better. But I think this is going to be a good enough span and, and have it screw into some metal that will make it a lot more sturdy. So, again, just a quick little easy mod I thought I'd show you. I'm going to go ahead and screw these two things in. And then I'm going to put the ram mount up there and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, back. Got them cinched in. A couple of lock nuts. The pieces of metal. Uh, nice and tight. So now let me see if I can get this thing. Install it back in here with one hand while I film and then get that ram mount on to show you guys what we ended up with. So again just the pop clips. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in. Real easy to take these guys out. There's just a, I'm sure you guys are aware that these pop clips are just basically you take the centerpiece pin, you lift it up and that releases the pressure so that this piece here can slip in and then you just push the center pin in and it's in. I got two inside the, I'm not going to call it glove box, I'm going to call it a storage area. So we'll put a couple of these in. And these things have got to be pulled out so that it releases that pressure. Push it into the hole. And once it's pushed into the hole, you can just push the pin. It's a bad light, I apologize. So that's basically it for the push pins. There's only four. Again, two underneath this guy. Actually, there's six. I forgot about two on the top. Sorry. Let's get those put in as well. There's two up here at the top of the dash. that properly so we can get it pushed in. Give me 
one second. Get off my ass and set up here and find out where my holes are. There they are. Okay. So you got two in the top. I'm digging around in my cup holder. That's where I keep these bad boys while I'm working on it. And so again, just the two on the dash. Doing the small glove box. In the cubby hole. And the last thing to do is just put these two Phillips underneath the switches here. You could probably get a better view on that so you can get an idea where those guys go. Super easy to remove. Underneath the, the center console, there's a ton of room. Looks like maybe for the KRX, has got a heater that you can install on this thing. Looks like there's plenty of room in there for that. Just, uh, again, I, if you guys subscribe, you know that I had a 2020 Polaris uh, Razor, the turbo model. I actually sold that to get this. I just enjoy this a lot more. A lot of features about it I like. Again, it doesn't have the speed that the, the Razor's got, but, uh, do a lot of mudding and rock crawling and stuff like that. Love the fact that this thing has got a locker on it, bead locks, everything that I need it for. Okay, anyway, so center council is put back in. I'm going to go ahead and grab my ram mount and get it placed over here. Give me one second here. Bad view. Realize that. I'm doing this with one hand, so tighten that around the, the ball stud there and there's the ram mount and um, and if you're familiar with the ram mount they're really cool they'll hold up to hell I think it's like an 11 12 inch tablet or iPad or what have you so that's the that's the install of it um, with the metal two little metal shims I put underneath there it makes it a lot more sturdy uh, before I just put it in with the original screws that came with the ram mount and when I Moved my ram mount back and forth the whole dash uh, Plate here was moving because again, it's only plastic and so you can't expect uh, to be able to hold You know a pound and a half maybe two pounds up there, but now with those two metal plates It's really sturdy. I mean, I'm giving this thing a good tug back and forth and the the beauty of these guys is they're so adaptable as far as your position here you've got uh, there's so many positions on this ram mount it's it's one of the best holders for a tablet so that's going to cure my my blues on missing the uh, Polaris's ride command which was very cool that's the one thing I do miss about the Polaris but now with a tablet it's actually going to have some more options um, for my stereo I just uh, I just got the wet sound system uh, which sounds pretty good a little overpriced for 800 bucks, you'd expect a little bit better of a sound, but it does get nice and loud. It connects to the phone really easy, so I've just got a spare, just a spare phone that I have here. Older Samsung model, so all I do is just slap that guy inside this upper dash portion, and I've got, I've got music. Um, with the steering wheel controls, you can just shift from song to song, volume and so forth, so it works out good enough. So now, now I've got a mount for my tablet, and I'll be able to cruise the trails and, uh, and find my way back when I go out and get lost. Um, hope that gives you guys a little bit of an idea of, of maybe what you can do as far as getting some Navi in your, in your rig. Anyway, I'll see you on the next vid. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.